welcome. Family, movies brief here. Today, I am going to explain a Hungarian drama film called White God. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Lily is a 13-year-old girl living in Hungary. She has a mixed breed dog named Hagen. Since Lily's parents are divorced, she hardly gets along with either of them. The only creature she is close to is her pet dog. At the beginning of the movie, she plays with the dog in a park while her mother watches them. She is planning to move to the United States, leaving Lily to live with her father, Daniel, permanently. Daniel works in a slaughterhouse and hasn't seen Lily since she was three years old. He is surprised that she has brought the dog with her because his apartment is too small to hold one. He is also not fond of pets in general, but has to compromise because of his daughter. When they get to the building, Daniel's landlady tells him that pets are not allowed in the apartment. He quietly tells her that he will get rid of it in a few days. Even during dinner, Lily disobeys her father, feeding Hagen homemade food. They have to squeeze in the same room because of the size of the apartment. The dog has separation anxiety and cannot sleep alone, but Daniel still locks him in the bathroom. He cries for a long time, not letting anyone sleep. At last, Lily goes to him and plays Franz Liszt's Hungarian Rhapsody No. 2 on her trumpet. The dog calms down after listening to the tune and Lily sleeps in the bathtub for the night. A dog and a trumpet, the other people who live in Daniel's apartment building, must be pissed. The next morning, they are woken up by someone ringing their doorbell. A man from canine control informs them of a complaint they received about their dog howling at night. At first, Daniel tries to hide the fact that they own a pet, but the guy happens to see Hagen in the apartment. Daniel is told to pay a large mongrel fee imposed by the Hungarian government because Hagen is a mixed breed. He is strictly against paying money to keep the dog that he doesn't even want in the first place. That day, Lily takes Hagen to her music class because her father won't let him alone in the house. Since no pets are allowed in the class either, she hides him inside a cabinet used to store instruments. However, when the music starts to play, a scared Hagen runs outside. Lily's music teacher asks her to send the dog away and stay in the classroom, but she disobeys him and walks out. The two are walking through the street when Daniel stops them, furious at the fact that he was called by her music teacher. He has decided to get rid of the dog at any cost. He asks Lily to give him to the dog shelter, but she stays adamant about keeping him with her. Having had enough of her stubbornness, he kicks the dog out of the car. Lily cries and asks the dog to return, but Daniel forces her inside and drives away. The poor dog chases them, not wanting to let go of his master, but he cannot keep up with the speeding car. For the next few hours, he waits in the street for Lily, but she never returns. At home, Lily wakes up in the middle of the night and gets ready to go to Hagen, but she is found by her father, who forces her back to sleep. Hagen wakes up after spending the night under a bridge. He looks around for food and finds a dead animal by the side of the road. After contemplating whether he should eat it, he decides against it. Following that, he reaches a butcher shop and looks at the meat longingly. A white stray dog catches his attention, who he follows, and he ends up in the back of a shop. Several stray dogs are eating the leftovers, but they bark at Hagen when he tries to get a bite. This attracts the butcher, who chases them all away. A naive Hagen stays put in his place, making the butcher even more angry. He is about to attack the poor dog with a knife, but is distracted by the white dog at the right time. Taking the opportunity, both dogs run away and reach a puddle where all of the stray dogs of the area have gathered to drink water. However, they are soon approached by workers from animal control who catch them and put them in cages. Hagen and his friend manage to run away while being followed. He is chased through the streets and eventually saved by a homeless person. After the workers leave, the man forcefully ties a rope around his neck and keeps him as a pet. In the meantime, Daniel takes Lily back to her music class and makes her apologize to the teacher for yesterday. After the class, she secretly goes to the street where they had left the dog the previous day. She looks for him all around the neighborhood, but to no avail. She also posts posters of the missing dog everywhere she can. Later at night, the homeless man sells Hagen to a dealer. He is chained with his kind in the back of a shop. The next morning, a client named Sabolks comes looking to buy a dog for dog fighting competitions. The dealer claims Hagen won't be good for fighting because he is a lap dog, but Sabolks buys him anyway. Hagen is giving a sleeping pill, which makes him pass out. 
Following that, Sabolx brings him to his house and gives him a mixture of protein powder. To make him more aggressive, Sabolx beats him regularly. He is mostly starved and caged the entire day. The only time he is let out is when Sabolx trains him. If he doesn't do as he is told, he is beaten brutally. The dog's life has changed for the worse. Sabolx's training technique gets tougher every day. Hagen is no longer the gentle dog he used to be. He eventually turns very aggressive, ready to be let into the battlefield. In the meantime, Lily continues her search for him. She goes to a dog shelter and asks its owner about him. She is told that he might have been hit by a car or died in a street fight. Her day gets worse when her bicycle gets stolen from outside the shelter. That night, Hagen is brought to the fighting ground by his master. The rules of the match are simple. For a dog to win, the other one has to die. People bet on them and earn a lot of money. When Sabolx brings Hagen in, everyone assumes that he is going to lose. They even tell Sabolx he could have done better, but the guy is confident about his training. The match between Hagen and a Rottweiler starts. After a fierce fight, both are left bloodied and injured, but at last, Hagen gets a tight grip on his opponent and wins the match. Impressed by his skills, a dog dealer approaches Sabolx, wanting to buy him. When Sabolx refuses, they get into an argument. Amidst it, the lights go off and Hagen takes the opportunity to run away. He runs the entire night, as far as he can from the dog dealers. Lily, on the other hand, is running home after her bicycle was stolen. She meets a friend from her music class named Peter. He is about to go to a high school party, which she asks to join. At first, he is reluctant about bringing her, but he figures that she can be used to carry drugs to the party without being caught. He makes her hide some pills in her pocket, which she sneaks into the party. Everyone there is way older than her, but Lily doesn't care. She sits in a corner and watches everyone dance. By the end of the night, she's fallen asleep on the floor. The next morning, the party is raided by the police. When Lily is found with drugs, she is taken to the police station. Thankfully, her tests come out negative, so she is allowed to return home with her father. Oh, so she wasn't doing the drugs, just selling them. That's fine. Daniel cries for the first time in years after seeing his daughter well and alive. He had been worried to death the previous night. He apologizes to her for taking Hagen away from her and promises to buy her a new dog. Lily forgives her father and reconciles with him, after which they return home happily. Meanwhile, Hagen reaches the puddle the next morning and reunites with his friend, the white dog. They are together, playing by a river, when the people from animal control take them away and put them in a shelter. Hagen is injured because of the fight and is treated for it. He is put in a cage with hundreds of other stray dogs and given food. While most of the dogs devour it, he doesn't even look at the food. The following day, people come to the shelter to adopt the dogs of their choice. A girl seems to like Hagen, but he barks at her and is aggressive towards the workers. The owner asks for him to be put down. Somewhere else, Lily is playing the trumpet at a concert with her orchestra. Daniel is in the audience to cheer for his daughter. Hagen is about to be thrown in a cage with the other dogs when he attacks the dog handler. He grows aggressive and bites the man on his neck, killing him eventually. The other dogs follow his lead and rush out of the cage. Since Hagen is the one to free them, they make him the leader of the pack. The owner of the shelter tries to stop him, but he pushes her aside and escapes with the others. They run through the city and chaos ensues all around them. People run away to save their lives as the dogs begin to attack everyone in their way. Eventually, the dogs also reach the concert that Lily is playing. They surround it from all sides, making the audience barricade themselves within the auditorium for safety. The performance stops as everyone starts to panic. Lily senses that Hagen is also with them and runs outside despite Peter warning her not to. A stranger tells Lily and Peter to not go downstairs because the entire city is in lockdown, but they do not listen. At last, she cycles down the empty streets, trying to find Hagen, believing that she can stop the havoc. Eventually, a pack of dogs chases behind her. She falls to the ground, but they ignore her as if they are on a mission. It turns out that Hagen is leading them to all of the people who have hurt him in the past. First, he finds Sabolx and approaches him. Soon, he is joined by his pack, who attack him, leaving a bloody mess behind. When Lily gets to the location, they have already left. A policeman finds her and puts her in the car. However, she escapes and cycles away, looking for Hagen yet again. She reaches a meat shop and finds the butcher dead on the floor. 
He was the same guy who tried to kill Hagen earlier in the movie. She calls Daniel and asks him to stay inside at any cost. He, on the other hand, is worried about her safety. Somewhere else, the police force shoots and kills several dogs, but more of them keep on coming. The pack goes to the dealer who had sold Hagen in the market and kills him as well. Now, their final target is Daniel. Lily cycles back to her home and finds the landlady dead. She freaks out and runs to her apartment, finally realizing what Hagen is trying to do. Knowing that her father's life is also in danger, she runs back to the auditorium. Daniel sees her safe and is relieved. However, Lily is soon approached by Hagen, who appears to have forgotten her after everything he has been through. As he growls at Lily, his army joins him. They are about to attack her when Daniel comes forward with a blowtorch to distract them and save his daughter. When they still do not calm down, Lily again plays Franz Liszt's Hungarian Rhapsody No. 2 on her trumpet. Hagen finally remembers her because of the tune. He calms down and the pack follows his lead. They all lay on the ground, listening to her play. Daniel is shocked and relieved at the fact that the trumpet is actually useful for something. He's also relieved that Lily is safe. At last, she also lays on the ground with the dogs. The movie ends as Daniel joins them. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.